If you think about spinal cord stimulation like a car, you could say that the leads are like the wheels and the battery is like the engine. The battery is what delivers the current to the electrodes and therefore to the spinal cord itself. The ends of the leads are plugged into the battery and they're screwed fairly tightly in place so that they don't dislodge. The battery is placed under the skin, either in the back or in the abdomen, depending on patient preference. The ends of the electrodes are plugged into the implantable pulse generator or battery. These are screwed in place so that they don't move or dislodge. The battery is then placed under the skin, either in the back or the abdomen, depending upon a number of factors and preferences.